iOS still lacks a dark mode, but this handy trick can make it much easier to use your iPhone in dark environments. Now you guys may remember in a previous video I showed you something similar. A triple press on the home button invokes the low light screen filter, and this allows you to go below the lowest brightness setting available within Control Center and within the settings app. And this is perfect for dark environments. However, this shortcut, the triple press of the home button, introduces artificial lag when using the normal two click gesture to open up the app switcher. So that is no good for a lot of people. A lot of people just don't like that, me being one of those people. So alternatively, what you can do is you can go to settings, go to general, go to accessibility, go to zoom, and then enable the zoom switch. Now enabling the zoom switch is going to allow you to take advantage of the various screen filters built into the accessibility settings. And one of those filters is a low light filter. Now just exit settings and triple tap the screen with three fingers like this, one, two, three. And that will invoke this menu here. And from this menu, you simply tap where it says choose filter and then choose low light. And there you see the brightness goes below what you can normally set via the control center or via the settings. And if you triple tap the screen again, you can bring that menu back up, go back to choose filter, and you can disable by tapping the none filter option. And this triple tap with three finger gesture works from anywhere. So you can be anywhere within iOS, triple tap and invoke the low light filter from anywhere. And the great thing about this method is that it doesn't introduce any sort of artificial home button lag. So you can open up your app switcher with ease with no problems. So while it is true that there is no dark mode yet in iOS, this is perhaps the next best thing when you're working on your iPhone in low light conditions. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.